Hey friends, this is Pastor Keith from City View Bible Church and this week I want to answer a few questions for you in our video update. Uh, one, how do we deal with this worry and anxiety that is consuming us right now? Two, what are some next steps that we're taking as a City View family as we move forward? And three, what do we focus on in our spiritual life right now? So number one, how do we deal with this worry and anxiety that is consuming us and really consuming our children right now uh, with all the news and the uncertainty about the future? I want to read to you from Matthew chapter 6 where uh, Jesus really speaks to our hearts about worry. He says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be provided for you. Therefore, Jesus says, Don't worry about tomorrow because tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Isn't that true? I want to encourage you to just focus on what you can do today. Uh, I know if you're anything like me, you're thinking about tomorrow and next week and next month and six months from now. But the truth is, is that we have no control of what's coming in the future. What we have control of, what we're responsible for is what we do today. And so let's don't borrow trouble from tomorrow. Let's trust God with what's coming in the future. And so I just want to encourage you to really uh, think about what God has asked you to do today. Obey him today. Trust him today. And then let tomorrow worry about itself and encourage uh, your family with these, these truths from Matthew chapter 6. Second, where are we going from here at City View Bible Church? Well, let me give you a few updates of what's happening with our schedule. Uh, first of all, we are going to continue spring break for one more week, meaning that we are going to worship together online on Sunday, but we are not going to do any of our midweek programming next week. Instead, what we want you to focus on next week is making sure that you connect digitally with your small group, your ministry team, your friends and family. And uh, we have set up Zoom accounts for all of our group leaders. And so be looking in the next few days uh, for an invitation to a Zoom meeting with your small group, your marriage group, your ministry team to get together with them and test that out this week. And so before we release any midweek programming, we want to encourage you to get together and see each other and just check in with each other. How are you doing? Do you have any needs? And pray for one another this week. And then the week after next, we will pick back up with, with moving some of our midweek programming, uh, re-engage men's and women's Bible studies uh, online and, and providing content for you as you gather with your small groups. Uh, the other thing I want to make sure that you know about that we're doing is we have created right now media accounts for every person in our church. And so uh, you should be looking for an email from me to come out very soon that will give you instructions on how to set up your right now media account. And right now pr provides, think about it kind of like a, a Netflix of Bible study curriculum and Christian children programming. And this is going to be a great resource while we're all at home and we've got plenty of time uh, to be in front of the screens or in front of the television to make sure that we're not just consuming entertainment, but we're also listening to gifted Bible teachers and, and having content that's really going to feed our soul, uh, not just entertain us. And so I want to make sure you and your teenagers uh, get signed up for a Right Now Media account and that you have access to that uh, as we move forward in the days ahead. Finally, what do we focus on right now in our relationship with God and growing spiritually? Well, I just couldn't summarize it any better than what Jesus said to us. He said, love God and love your neighbor. So make sure that you are still pressing into God during these difficult times. Uh, what does it look like to love God right now? Uh, I want to encourage you, uh, when you first wake up in the morning, uh, fight that temptation to jump on the news, jump on social media to see what's going on. That's going to overwhelm your system with worry and anxiety. Instead, start your day with God. Start in God's word. Start in prayer. Start with meditating on what is true before you begin to consume the news of the day. As you're seeking to love God, 
don't forget the power of worship. You know, make sure you've got worship music you can listen to, YouTube videos, things that will really encourage your heart and mind to focus on God. So love God and love your neighbor. Right now, this is so important while we're all needing to be isolated and separated from one another that we not disconnect completely. Uh, make sure you check in with your neighbors, check in with your small group, text your friends and family members, and, and just stay in touch with people so that you know how they're doing, they know know how you're doing and be very open and honest about how you're struggling during this time. Friends, this is an incredible opportunity for those of us who follow Jesus to be on mission during a time of uncertainty and difficulty in our nation's history. And so I want to encourage you as you love God and you love your neighbor, be a strong, courageous witness for Christ. What an amazing opportunity to show people that we have a hope and a joy and a peace that nothing in this world can take from us. We love you. We're praying for you. Let us know here at the church if there's anything we can be doing for you during this time.